Tom. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening, the last episode. We started off this battle to save Mary, uh, Mary Bell, not Muriel. And, and uh, Donald was a beast and got a critical hit uh, with a 1% chance to do so. I cannot believe that it happened still. In this episode, we're going to continue on with this battle and hopefully not die. He's using Flux. Yeah, not that good of a chance to hit, so I think we're safe there. We got... Oh, they're going after Virion. 47% chance to hit, but I can strike twice. Oh, that hit anyway! Boom! Good on you, Virion. Indeed it was. Y you're a thing of beauty. All right, so they're all coming down there. Yeesh. All right. Uh, let's have... I can actually attack him twice with, the, with his Iron Lance. So let's do that. You're all right. Boom! Okay, that did hit, but, you know, it was kind of worth it. Just to get Donald some more experience, which... Oh, no, he didn't level up. Hoping he would, he didn't. Uh, so let's, let's head up here, then. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal Viri. Oh, oh, no! The path is blocked. Let's get... Hmm. So there's a lot of... There's a couple of people coming down from that cliffside there. Let's get... Dangerous. Darkwing Duck, when there's trouble, you call DW. Let's get dangerous. Um, let's see. If I switch to Vague, how much damage can he do on him? Uh, 19 with a 5% chance to crit and a 45% chance for Muriel to join up. Let's see. Well, the, the problem, the biggest problem I have is these two coming down. They can't hit, uh, actually, what am I doing? I'll have Frederick come up here. And get this person. I've got a. I've, you're probably not gonna see me use Pegasus Knights too much. Whoa! What is happening? A two percent chance to crit. It's Crit City right here. Beep beep beep. Okay. <laughs> As I was saying. Uh. Woo. Give me a case of the vapors right there. Um. I'll probably. Hmm. What's his range? Not terribly far. So what I'll do is I'll have... Miriel's lower level, so I'll have her come up here. If I move here, what about this guy? What about the guy behind him? Behind her. Uh... Hmm. Gotta... You always gotta plan out these... You gotta constantly stay one jump ahead. Uh, in that case, though, I think what I'll do is I'll have... Sully, I'll, I'll switch to Sully for this one. Hmm. How far can they move again? Not that far. Should be better once uh, that that dude is gone, but still. All right, don't check it out. Bot Island. All right. Uh. Shoot. I'm having trouble planning this out here. Cause I don't want anyone to die. Is the biggest thing. All right. Uh. Let's go with the Iron Axe, cause Vake Vake can uh, can take a hit. He, his the what is going on? All of my moves. Jesus. Okay. Move over here. Use Mend on on a uh, Virian here. Good to level up a healer. Can't wait till I can get one of those classes where I can use both staves and uh, I could stave it off, as it were. Let's see, I'll have Sully attack with an Iron Lance here. This gentleman can only seem to do one damage with his sword. Ouch. You got it, Sully. Alright. Aha! Attacking, a, attacking an enemy that's much stronger than you. How very clever. No, wait. What's the other word? Neat! Ah, crap! Reinforcements have arrived! Which is exactly what I didn't want. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up Donnell. Daddy! Alright, and... Oh. Now here's a conundrum. Do I want to keep him alive so that way Donald can have a chance at him, or should I kill him immediately? Let's let fate decide. Falcon, go! One! <laughs> Alright, no damage! <laughs> Beautiful. Alright. Uh, these two need to get the hell out of dodge. Or, I could do this. 
Switch, attack, and attack. Let's see. What? There's got to be a better thing for me to do. Let me switch to Samia, actually. Because while she's kind of frail, she could still do some damage, especially with uh, Frederick as her partner. Alright, so I'll do seven damage, but I'll be able to take him out. Ow! Yay, Samia! Sweet, level up! Hey, not bad. Maybe I could finally make a difference. Should I go falsetto for the female voices? I I've always had trouble with that, like, as to whether or not I should do a certain voice on one thing, but not on another. Let's level up Sully's sword ability, because I could probably take him out using the, uh... Okay, I was gonna say, as long as, um... Virian doesn't help. Because, like, I could do a, the, you know, high pitch like this, but that doesn't seem very realistic, you know? It only seems like I'm perpetuating the stereotype of women talking like this. Or maybe I could try to go different, you know? Uh, let's go ahead with wind magic, because it's all I really need. Teach is right here! Yeah, ya! Leveling up that mage! Alright, and who else have, hasn't gone yet? I guess Maribel. Uh, Maribel can come over here and heal Sumia. Mend! We know what's gonna happen here. There's no chance for critical healing. Okay, four healed. Uh oh! Was not expecting this! Pluggy and Wyvern Knight. Oh, he's toast! Bows are really good against flying enemies. And they both leveled up? Neat. Ting, 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 ting. Yeah, it turns out the business end of my sword is me. The, th the thing with, uh, with Sully, though, is that, like, I expect her speech to be a bit blunt. Huh. Turns out the business end of my sword is me. And that doesn't sound right, you know? Like, I don't know. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, right? I'd rather not use a falsetto when using a, uh, when make, having a feminine voice. Or when giving my characters a feminine voice. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, and spear this plague. Hey, he's dead. Sweet! The only problem is now you is gonna be horribly underleveled. His little piggy's learned some new tricks! Yeehaw! Oh, sweet, a hand axe. Uh, let's move Krom over here. Hopefully the Myrmidon will go for him. Let's move... Let's see, the people that spawn in the, uh, in the, uh, the forts will move right away. Uh, can this guy move, uh, far enough? No, he can't. Okay, um... Let's move... So, oh, jeez. Let me move Sully into the fort so she can heal next round. Depending on how far... Nope, okay, uh, and then we'll move... Let's move Vake here and switch her him out. And we'll move... Samia here. And then we'll heal. I just wanted to move... So I know Sully would have healed anyway, but I just wanted to be able to level up the healer a bit. Having a horse-drawn healer is really useful. Either way, this guy's gonna do a bit of damage to Vake, but not a lot, considering that Vake... You know, Vake's the Vake! I mean, come on! Ah, oh, crap! Okay. Um... Hmm. Let's go ahead and hit him with the... Or a beer, and hopefully actually hit him. Be a shame if I didn't. Let's see how this goes. Sweet! I hit him! And no damage from the other swordsman. Alright, now let's give Donald some experience, huh? Hit him up with the Iron Lance. Yeah! It's over. Hey, you, it's over. Alright, and, uh, Vake could do handle this, but I think I haven't leveled up Muriel that much. What level is Muriel? Five? Ah, uh, Sumia could probably use more experience than anybody. Let me just check the range on some of these people to make sure they're not going to move down and just immediately destroy me. I don't think that guy spawned in, uh... Uh-oh! What's his attack? Hmm. Well, we'll see if Donald can survive this. Yeesh. Because he's within range, he's in striking distance of that. Let's move Sumia over here and attack uh, this dude with the Bronze Lance. LeBron's Lance. The thing is, I want to hold back a little bit, just so I'll be able to have time to focus and kind of like plan out my strategy a little bit. In the meantime, don't think I could really do much here. 
Uh, are these guys in range? No, they're not. Okay, so they won't move. So what I'll do is I'll move that. Well, that guy's going to move no matter what. So I'll move Vake. Uh, Sully. And Maribel here. And then the enemies can go. Oh, this is going to suck! Come on. Ten damage. That's actually not too bad. Oh. All right. Could really use your help here. Come on, you! Yes! Oh, that was awesome! You saved my heart. Thank you. You. Whoa, that's not good, though. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's have Krom go after the Dark the, the dark Mage with the Falcon in the parlor. This is one of my least favorite missions. Because you, you, you get two people immediately that can die very easily. I'm probably never going to use Rickon only because... Well, I've already got Muriel as a mage. I'm going to have another mage in my group that I'm going to want to use a lot. Plus, I'm going to want to use Virian a lot. Uh, let's see. Let me get Maribel. Oh, shoot. I want to have him come down and attack this guy. Let, let me see. What's the range on some of these other people? I just If you stay outside their range, then they won't move. Uh, none of these people can get within range of here, so I think I've got my strategy planned out for this. Uh, let's have Samia. I'm probably not going to use her, though. I just want her to get married to Fredericks that way. Uh, I'm probably not going to use Samia or Frederick at all, now that I think about it. Uh, I need to... I need Rickon. Or, I need, uh, Maribel, so I can't use Rickon. Uh, what if I did, uh... Wait, who's what level? Alright, I'll have you... Attack you with you, and hopefully, please don't kill him. That's all I'm hoping for. Bap, and... Okay, good. No no return bap. Sweet. If there was a return bap, we'd have trouble. Alright, and let's see if that was enough damage for me to kill him. Oh, thank god. 93% uh, chance to hit. I like those odds. 7% chance to miss, but then again, I crit on a 1% chance, so... Then again, all, all it's also based on luck as well, and... Donald is in no shortage of that. He's he's like almost halfway to maxed out for his class. I should probably switch him out uh, for you for the rest of this fight. Let's also heal Donald as well. Donald's actually got a lot of HP. Well, he's also uh, su supremely over leveled compared to a lot of the other people. There we go. I won't be satisfied until I'm the very best. All right, and. Let's see. I don't want the I don't want Vake charging up Guantanamo Bay or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, it doesn't look like I don't know if anything else is gonna spawn, but let me just see the range on these guys and then and then position my cohorts up uh, pro, uh, apropos, I should say. There we go. Enemy phase. Nobody's moves. Okay. Might as well bring Crom up. Uh, let's see. Not enough room for me to move there. She does, but is there an archer up there? Nope. No archer. That's good. Uh, Sully. I'm gonna move, uh, hmm. Let's see, if I switched... She's got no defense, though. She gains three from, uh, Vake, but that's not a lot. I need someone tankier to, to charge up the hill here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and wait there. Let's have... Muriel here. Uh, let's switch to you, because you could probably use a little bit more, uh, experience. More skill as well, that's good. Uh, let's have... Samia start flying up this way to be able to drop Frederick off. Maribel can wait here, and, okay, I guess that's it. Going after Sully. 48% chance to hit at 8 damage! Oh, God. Another one going for Sully. 62% at, at 5 damage. This could be bad for Sully. Oh, God. Virian, you could have helped there. I don't think the other person can... Oh, no! I won't ask for your name. Only your life. Well. Was not expecting this. Fortunately, it missed. But I was not expecting that dude to move. Okay, uh... So, Sully is in one dilly of a pickle right now. So, I think I'll do is I'll have... 
Move Samia up here. Attack this gentleman with an Iron Lance. He'll only do, he'll only do three damage to her. Boop! And... Yeah! Gotta love those partner defenses. So much rarer than the partner attacks, but they're so good. So good! What am I doing? I'm probably never gonna use Sumia again. Whatever, this is this is only for the relationship. Uh, let's see. Alright, what can I do now? What I could... Let's... Oh, man. Let's see. I don't have a lot of options. I probably should have tried to take out one of the front linemen. So that way I could have had some more maneuverability here. Then again, that would have been the smart thing to do, so... I don't know. Uh, I want you to have a little bit more... experience. Let's move Sully back over here. Have Maribel heal him. Or her, I'm sorry, that's that's Sully. Pleasure doing business with you. Let's have you move up here. The worst part about this is that I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a wind spell, so I guess I'm gonna have to rely on arc fire for this. I think this is route the enemy. I don't think I just have to take out the commander for this one. And oh, look at that, arc fire! Oh, I should have read that in a voice. Either way, you leveled up. <laughs> Great, fantastic world of difference right there, Pally. And a boolean. That's gonna be nice for later. Uh. Oh, I think I fucked myself here. Flux. I guess she could still attack. Uh, let's go with Thunder, because it's got a really good chance of critting. Come on. Yeah! Thank you, Vake. The Vake knows what to do. Bing, bing. Nice. I'm a staunch believer in amelioration. I finally got that word. At least I think I got. At least I think I got that word right. I should say. All right. I think there's one dude left, and it's gonna go. Please don't have any wind magic. Three damage. What the hell is the point of that move then? Good lord. All right. Who needs the most experience, and who's going to come home the winner of this one? Can she? Would she be able to come up the mountain? Yes. I should have Sully do it then. All right. So I'm going to attack this person and end this battle. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, only because I want the. Actually, you know what? I'll do it now. I didn't. I did not check the stats for that at all. I just kind of went in full heartedly. All right, eight damage, twelve damage. Cool. Okay. So next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we're gonna end off this chapter and Varian and Sully are the heroes. See you all then.